Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 50 in chapter 11. Chapter 11 is about angular momentum. So in this one, you can see we know a beam. The mass is given, and the length is given. It moves in it, uh, with the velocity v naught to the right, the lead velocity, right? And we have a person. The mass is given at one end. So uh, this man at the initial is uh, stationary, and then grab one end, and then the man and the beam become rotated. So first one, how fast does the center of mass of the system move after collision? So this one is to find the lead velocity after the collision, right? So this one, momentum is conserved because there's no external force acting on it. So initial velocity, initial angular momentum is a capital M times V0 equal to final velocity. This man and the person attaches together. So M plus small m plus capital M times V. In this one, we can get lead velocity after the collision very easily, 14 meters per second. The next one, we need to find angular velocity that this system moves. It's a little bit difficult, but I think we can solve it together. You can see, uh, for this system, no external force acting in it. So that means the net torque is zero, right? So the angular momentum is conserved. For angular momentum is conserved, we can see we need to find initial angular momentum and a final angular momentum. How can we do that? Uh, first thing for this rotation, we need to find the rotation axis. So initially, it moves to the right, linear motion, right? Linear motion. And then it becomes to ro rotate. It do the rotate in this way. The person crop, uh, just uh, uh, crisp, uh, crops one end. And for this one, we can see at initial, the center of mass for the road is there. And then we can consider, finally, the rotation axis is there after the person crops it. How can we decide where it is? This one is just the center of mass for the road plus the man. So now we need to determine where it is. So we can consider the reference point, this one as zero. And the center of mass for this position, we can find it where it is, right? So first one, it is the beam, the stick. The stick's mass is there and the reference point is zero. And plus the man is there, there is a person. The man is there and the distance from the reference point is half of the L, half of the length. The total mass is a small m plus the capital M, then we get it is, it is around 0 0.3 meter. 0 0.3 meter. So that means the from the reference point to the rotation axis, 0 0.3 meter. And this one is just the radius for the capital M. Because in previous, the center of mass for, for the road is there, and the rotation axis is there, so this is RCM, no problem, right? Now the radius for the person is from rotation axis to the person, this one, agree? This one. And how much this one is the half of the length minus the R capital M. So we get it there. Now we get the radius for these two objects, the beam, and it's a person, so we apply angular momentum is conserved. Initial angular momentum, you, we look at the stick. It has the capital M, uh, V0, this is a P, RP, sine theta, sine 90 degrees, so M V0 times R uh, capital M, right? And the final angular momentum is the momentum of erasure for this system plus omega. The momentum of erasure for this system include two parts. First part is the beam, second part is the person there, and then we can just uh, do the calculation, find the function for omega. It looks like this one. Now it looks like we need to find the momentum of erasure for this stick. So for this stick, see, now we have this stick, find the angle, uh, the momentum of erasure around this position. So first one, we use the parallel rules. It is around the central mass is one half, one over 12 mal squared plus the capital M times RCM squared, this length, right? And th this one is good. And the second one we can find is uh, IM. IM is what? Is the, the person is there from the rotation axis. Rotation axis, the distance from this one is R small m squared. So now we input it inside. 
we get is a final equation. Look at that, that input is the quantities. We get the final answer there. Thank you.